Hey guys, I just want to let you know, um, this has been my regular routine. I, I love smoothies. I've been having smoothies all my life. My kids grew up on smoothies and they are my recovery drink. They're my in-between drink. Um, I have a smoothie every single day and I've been doing that for over 20 years. They've evolved over the years. I'm using more vegetables now. Before it used to be mostly protein and fruits. Um, so I put this whole bag of organic baby spinach in there. Um, I have the fruits. I These come in little individual packets. So I have this fruit packet. Uh, it's a mixture of blueberries, strawberries, cherries, and um, I think uh, raspberries are in there too. And then I, I love sprouts and I, I use their blueberries. I kind of add more blueberries to it. As you can see, it's kind of topped up with that. Here's the juices I use, mostly coconut water. There's probably about eight ounces of that. And then a splash of the pomegranate. I, I always get the palm, 100% um, pomegranate juice, about four ounces of that. Two ounces of orange juice. Orange juice has a lot of sugar, so I only use a small amount of that. My son bought this one, but I always try to make sure I get the Florida uh, orange juice. I don't like the stuff that's made in other countries. Let me see this. Where is this one? If this is the one from Florida. I like the one that's from Florida. I just trust it more than um, the orange juice from, from other countries. Uh, the um, kefir. All my sh smoothies, no matter what, whether uh, it's a protein smoothie or whatever type of smoothie, usually have a base of kefir and yogurt. I like the the, the um, tart flavor of yogurt and kefir. I've been adding this um, cold pressed um, beet juice, and I've always felt beets are really good, um, really a good antioxidant, and they have they have a component to them that kind of makes them really good at about giving you energy and I, I can't, I don't know, I'm not a nutritionist. I just, I just like beets and I use them. I don't, I don't drink the plain beet juice, but I put it in my smoothies. And then here's all the proteins that I put in here. I put the J-Rob, my mom made the label for this because it came from a huge bag and it's the J-Rob um, Whey Isolate Protein. I put um, prebiotics which is, um, I was using another brand, but this was the brand that was available and it's a prebiotic powder. So you guys know about probiotics. This is the same type of thing. Um, I've been using the vital collagens, vital proteins, collagen peptide mix, because I, I do like to have a lot of um, collagen. And this is what I've been really getting into for the past couple years is the mushroom stuff. So I used a scoop of each one of these, the immune support, the lion's mane by itself, the restore, which is a combination of cordyceps and lion's mane and turkey tail and other things like that. I, they have all these names for the mushrooms. Don't ask me what they mean. And then the fit one, I just, I just put a scoop of each one. They're, they're real small scoops. Um, I can't really open it with one hand and show you, but it's a real tiny scoop. So anyway, that's all in the blender. And uh, did I leave anything out? I think that's it. So I blend it up and it's gonna get a little bit loud. I'll turn it down a little bit. And make sure it thoroughly blends that uh, spinach in there. I've noticed when I have a high amount of raspberries, it gets really foamy. So I, I've been cutting back on the mixes that have raspberries or I don't put raspberries by themselves, um, but I try to uh, mix it up. Sometimes I'll put some mango, sometimes some peach, uh, apple, different things. Um, but the main thing, oh, and, and, and the almond butter. The almond butter adds some good fats to it. And if you're using kale, because I mix it up, I use kale, the almond butter takes that bitterness of kale out of it because because raw kale has a real bitter flavor. Anyway, blending up that smoothie in my Vitamix, just let it blend for a while and a good just making sure that spinach gets really chopped up and you can see it's getting pretty chopped up in there and then it gets like that so 
probably have to give it a while to really turn that. Anyway, so that's my routine, you guys. Do yourself a favor, read up and learn a little bit about smoothies. Um, get your veggies in a smoothie and, um, and use it as recovery. I think it's a good recovery drink. Um, so I'll talk to you later.